What's up guys? So welcome back to our channel and welcome back for another toy unboxing. Let's go! Okay guys, so on this video, we will be opening another dinosaur from the Rebor 135th scale collectibles. This is the vintage Paleoart Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Mesozoic Rhapsody Valley version. So the series has actually two kinds of retro dinosaurs or retrosaurus. This is the first one. Oh, actually, they were released together at the same time. The second one was the 80s dinosaur or the 80s T-Rex toy remastered dinosaur which I don't have yet because I was not able to get it during the pre-order and I'm, I will be looking for it so that we can complete it in our collection. So in this video, we will be opening this one. So let's move on to the next camera and crack this open. Let's go! Okay, so let's start here with the box. So in front, you will see here the name Vintage Paleoar Tyrannosaurus Rex, the Mesozoic Rhapsody Valley. And it's a 138 scale as we can see here. It's from the Rebor collectibles. And we have here the image of the actual figure itself of this dinosaur. Okay, on top you will see some information about this dinosaur. Of course, it has the logo or the name Rebor here. The release is 2021. Some information here and QR codes, barcodes, etc. Okay, so at the back here, you will see here the list or the lineup of the Retrosaurus uh, dinosaurs we have here. The first three are actually the same, which is this figure, the Vintage Paleoar Tyrannosaurus Rex. And the next three is the 80s T-Rex or the Vintage T-Rex the 80s version which I don't have yet so actually I just don't know if they do have the same mold or they do have the same body structure here but I would like to get one version of each so I will still be looking for it hopefully we can get it soon so we can unbox it here on the channel so we also have here select player at the bottom it's like they're showing it that these are retro dinosaurs from the previous designs that we can see from games as well, maybe. Since it's like a 8-bit design here and what else? Okay, nothing else on the sides and at the bottom. So let's crack this open and see what does this dinosaur looks like in person. Okay, so of course you are very familiar with the packaging here of the Rebor dinosaurs. We already opened two dinosaurs. The previous one was the T-Rex or the King T-Rex and the dead or the female Triceratops. So this is the third one that we will be opening on the channel. Okay, so there you go. So there are two parts here, the tail or the extended tail and the complete body so let me just put this aside I am very what do you call this one I really like how they create this packaging it's very simple but it's very sturdy the foam is not flimsy it's not so uh, too soft for the dinosaur to be sitting on yeah it inside but and I think these are very nice packaging for this kind of heavy figures so that it will not be like shaking or rattling while in transit so I really like how Rebo did this one and I don't know if the other manufacturers for this kind of dinosaurs have this kind of packaging as well since I only collect these Reb uh, Rebo designs or Rebo 135th scale dinosaurs there are other manufacturers like Nanmo that I am looking into at as well but I don't really like to start it since I am too late. I might not be able to get the previous releases of those Nanmo designs but Nanmo designs are also good and 
very nicely done. So let's open this one. So this is the main body of the figure. And the tail. If you remembered, our previous that T-Rex was a complete figure which is not like this one which has this assemble required but I think these are snap fit as well but let me just fix uh, okay. it should be sitting like this one it's a little bit hard because it's just new but for sure later on we can assemble there you go it, uh, it requires a little bit of push, a little bit of pressure there, but it's easy once it's already locked in place. Okay, there you go. So, it has also this rubber strap here, so we'll just remove this one so we can move the head of this figure or the mouth itself. Okay, so, there you go. So, this is your dinosaur or the vintage polyart Tyrannosaurus Rex. I just don't know where they get uh, the rubber get this design but based on to the packaging it's like from vintage games or should I say vintage movies that shows Tyrannosaurus Rex or T-Rex as their design so you can see here the color is actually somehow like a grayish color uh, I was thinking that it's almost a purple here in this the box art, but I am wrong. It's not actually purple. It's somehow like a grayish color here in person. Okay. So, if you will judge this one, it really looks like a vintage Tyrannosaurus Rex, which we are not too familiar if you are... Uh, should I say a 90s kid because during the 90s we already familiar with the Jurassic Park version of the Tyrannosaurus Rex which is not or doesn't look like this one in the figure okay so let's start here with the head okay of course the head here is somehow like an old like dinosaur somehow it's like a raptor for me it's not a T-Rex okay so Actually, you can open the mouth of this figure. Let's just try it slowly. There you go. Okay. So you can open the mouth of this dinosaur and you will see there a detailed tongue as well as to the teeth. It has gloss on it and it's like saliva surrounding the design or the tongue and the, to uh, the teeth popping out on its mouth so it's very nicely done the problem with my previous t-rex or the king t-rex is that when you open its mouth it doesn't go up i mean it doesn't go down actually uh, going down too much it's like turning into a closed mouth after a few seconds so for this dinosaur it may be somehow like it's also not, uh, going back but it doesn't close up just like the previous TRX that I have so this is a plus for now I hope they can fix or I hope in the future we can get dinosaurs or these dinosaurs to be having their mouth open for a long time without destroying the this jaw part of this dinosaur so as of now it can only go there up here and it will stay somewhere like there okay there you go that is how when it is opening his mouth okay there you go I just don't know if this is a female or a male Tyrannosaurus Rex and going down here we will see the arms here are movable actually it's 360 movable it can rotate 360 but no one does that and dinosaurs I think dinosaurs or T-Rex designs or T-Rex in the movies doesn't do 360 arm rotate so 
it's just fine. I think it's additional to this detail or the details of this dinosaur, but it's not necessary to be having a 360 rotating arm of this kind of figures like this dinosaurs. Okay, so going down, it has the consistent tone of this dinosaur's color, grayish color here, but you will see here at the bottom, you will see the separation of the color wherein it really looks like a lizard onto its natural color. So basically, lizards do have this kind of colors as well because of like these are covered every time they are outside the environment. So basically, it's like these are the hidden parts of this dinosaur's body. That's why it's lighter or the color are lighter. I just don't know with the recent or the newest designs of dinosaurs or T-Rex because most of those designs are already like uh, toned naturally as to dinosaurs should look, really look like but I just I'm not too familiar with dinosaurs actually I just love dinosaurs when I was a kid I really loved collecting dinosaur toys uh, I remember when I was young something like a powdered milk is always giving away toy dinosaurs and that brand I always choose that brand to be bought by my mother so that I can collect those little dinosaurs for free but I just don't know where did those dinosaurs go as I grow up I changed my hobby or I changed my collection into model kits of Gundam but hopefully I can see yet yet uh, yet I was not able to <coughs> Excuse me. I was not able to get all of my old things yet at the old house. Hopefully, it's still there. And if ever it's still there, I'll show it also in the channel. There you go. So this is your vintage Palio Art T-Rex dinosaur. I just don't know if it's really like this one in the vintage design let me drink a little bit okay but in terms of the design it really looks like a vintage dinosaur for me okay the weight of this dinosaur is actually heavier than the previous t-rex that we opened on the channel so that's a plus for me because of stability in terms of this kind of dinosaurs is very important when displaying it on your display cabinet. Especially the, what they call this one, this, the posture of this dinosaur is very sturdy in terms of the position where it stands. Unlike to that previous T-Rex that we had, it doesn't have that good standing pose. You need the triceratops to be its base rather than using the original base so it can stand properly or it can stand with a little bit of good uh, what I call so stability in, uh, on it because of it's standing on a single leg pose so I really like how they created this one the pose is a plus for this one the color, I really, I, did, I really don't expect that the color is actually a grayish color. I was thinking of a, what they call it? Somewhere like a purplish color, but I'm really glad that I picked this one instead of those green and the brown one because of it's not too common for dinosaurs for me that they are colored green, especially for T-Rex. Usually T-Rex are in gray and brownish color. I just don't like it to be gray. Unlike to those Stegosaurus, Brachiosaurus that are supposed to be green, those leaf-eating dinosaurs are commonly in green. But this one is a herbivore, uh, I mean carnivore, which is supposed to be have a darker colored uh, paint on it or color on it so I really like how this vintage dinosaur looks like on its paint job you will see the details here it's very common for rubber to be doing this kind of details high detail 
onto their dinosaur designs. I just can't compare everything because I'm not too good in describing designs or details onto the figures. But in my own uh, observation, this has good designs as well, just like to the previous one that we unboxed on the channel. So uh, a little bit of more here. You will see at the end of the tail or the lower thirds of the tail, you will see here some thorns popping out here. So not th not all of the tails has these thorns, but this one add up a little bit of the details here. And it's very nicely done. You will see here a, vi a big thigh and strong legs for this vintage dinosaurs. I really like also how big is the foot of this dinosaur. It will really support the standing pose of this figure itself. It, it will sit properly onto your display cabinet without any support or any help of a base. And there you go. This is your vintage Polyart Tyrannosaurus Rex Mesozoic Rhapsody Valley. I just don't know what are the other names for the other colored or other design for this vintage dinosaur. But this one is called Valley or the Mesozoic Valley or Mesozoic Rhapsody Valley version of this vintage dinosaur. The eye there is a gold, golden color. I just don't know if you can see this one. It's a gold color eyeball there with black dot on the middle. You will also see here a vintage design of this dinosaur with an, a hole for an ear, I guess. It's like somehow looks like to those Komodo dragons that has holes here. Uh, also those uh, large lizards that we can see in zoos, they have this kind of hole on their sides of the head, which I think are their ears for so that they can hear their surroundings. Okay, so I just don't like how they, they made this one. I am thinking of it should lock somewhere else, but we cannot do anything about this one since it doesn't lock open like this one. Supposedly it should open up to here but it just goes back for a while. But this is better than the previous one. The, pre the previous one it, it really goes back closing his mouth or its mouth and I really don't like that one compared to this vintage dinosaur. Okay, so there you go. This is your vintage dinosaur. Okay guys, so there you go. This is your vintage Paleoart Tyrannosaurus Rex. I may not like the vintage look of this one because of, I'm too fond on to the dinosaurs from the Jurassic Park series, but it really looks something like new. For those who are not familiar to the vintage dinosaurs, but uh, and aside from that, it's very big. I think it's this is larger than the previous dinosaur that we opened or the previous T-Rex that we had. I also like how they separated the tail. I just don't know if this posable. Let me try. No, it's not. So there's no plus onto the posability of the tail. But I really like how they separated the tail here. Unlike to the previous one that has a longer box, this one is just a little bit shorter and it is very compact there inside and I really like how they separated the tail there because of if it doesn't or if they didn't separate the tail, for sure the box will go longer and of course the shipping fee will be higher and that will add up to the budget or the uh, what they call that uh, you need to uh, put some amount of money to the shipping fee for shipping a large box figure so that's a plus for the rubber now i just don't like really how they created the box again because of let me just pick it again here they just put the design in front of the box 
the previous designs that they are creating or they are releasing they have those kind of bone structure or x-ray like design of the box i really like those one and hopefully they will give it back to the customers or their fans because those are really nice box or packaging of their rebor 135 scale dinosaur okay so this is my third dinosaur open here in the channel and we still have more so don't forget to like this video if you like this video don't forget to subscribe because we still have more of these dinosaurs on the channel and notify yourself every time we upload new content power lang pataas bye bye